Hey friends, Tux here. This is a buy request video. People wanted to see a big box of action figures. So I'm gonna go ahead and supply that video right now. We have a huge box of action figures. A lot of these are made by McFarland Toys. There's X-Files, Spun, and who knows what type of crazy, crazy action figures are in here. So let's go ahead and just dive into this. I'm just gonna show them a little bit. If you have any questions, you can feel free to ask me. I do not know what all these figures are from. Uh, this one I thought was really cool. Check out this figure. It was some kind of crazy mad scientist guy. I always only really like the kind of the blood splatter on his outfit here very detailed I want to say this is probably a McFarland figure and if you're not familiar McFarland is a maker of really fine cool action figures everything from Spawn to Walking Dead um, even like X-Files made just all sorts of figures um, he basically makes really really great toys so anyway you can look up that Todd McFarland is his name but this is really cool I really love the splatter and just really neat looking low articulation the feet turn which is a little unique usually don't have ones with a feet turn but no articulation in the knees but anyway that's just one right there Okay, we'll just keep going. Um, I may talk more or less than some of these. Here is a really good looking Mulder figure, and I really like X-Files a lot, and some of the more recent X-Files figures are not as good as this one here, but I really like the way it has a little badge out, um, the face looks good, and this is probably before the days of like laser, like um, now they put like dots on the face, and they really like laser sculpted, um, and this is a really nice looking figure actually. Very cool, the waist turns as you can see, arms go up and go down, no articulation in the hands. Just, well, there's a joint right there. A little ball joint, but very cool. Love the X-Files. Okay, next up we got something really crazy. Look at this crazy thing. Oh my gosh, this thing is gonna give me nightmares. This is a really cool figure. I wanna say this is a Spawn figure. Um, this is definitely McFarland Toys. Um, sometimes you can tell when you're buying toys in the bottom uh, who made it. Like this is actually 1996 McFarland. So very cool. Love the big horn. Look at that horn. Oh my gosh. And in the back here, all these little spikes and like little rivets. Very, very cool. A little articulation in the hands. And some of these can actually be found on eBay. So if you're looking to pick up some of these, you might be able to find them on eBay. Next up, another cool one. I'm not sure about this guy. Um, this has this crazy chainsaw thing. And I think if you turn this, um, I wanna say back in the day you could actually pull this and it would kind of make like, oh, there you go, kind of a little bit. The chainsaw kind of wiggles as you can see. So very cool, kind of a mad scientist guy. We got some hoses here in the back. Cool mask, a little scar on his face. Um, really big foot on the one side. Very cool. I think this is made purposely a little bigger, so that way it could stand better. Sometimes with little teeny feet and big bodies, they're a little top heavy. Um, this is 1995 McFarlane toys. Very cool. Next up, we have a Spawn Girl. Look at that. And I want to say she's missing some pieces. Um, this one, I think there's supposed to be some kind of little plate there or something that shoots maybe. I don't know. Um, again, we have one big foot for standing, which is really cool. This is 1996 McFarlane. And this is kind of like a female Spawn. Got the hair thing going on. I think she's missing a few little uh, accessories, but very cool. Okay, next up, we have kind of almost kind of a red, white, and blue, almost kind of a Captain America looking spawn. Um, lots of spikes here. Check out all these crazy spikes on him. Very cool. Looks like there was a hole for some kind of accessory, and I think he had some kind of backpack or something. We have two holes in the shoulders here, which I think kind of like locked in some kind of backpack, but very cool, very patriotic. We got the green glowing eyes, very neat. Okay, next up. This originally, I kind of thought this might be twisted metal, but I want to say no. Um, let's see. Not sure about this one. I don't think this is McFarlane. Um, very cool figure though, real crazy clown. I know a lot of people have like clown phobias. Look at that menacing clown. Look at the detail in the hair. I love the translucent plastic, very cool. Very creepy skull figure, very excellent. Okay, next up, we got this one here with this huge, like, crazy, crazy long robe thing. This is rubbery, so this is very bendable. Oops, I lost the figure, oh my gosh. All right, one second. There we go, okay, so we have the figure here, and I guess this is kinda locks into the shoulder. And there might have actually been two, I see there's actually two holes here, so I kinda get the impression that maybe there are supposed to be two of these. And this is kind of like locks in like that. Oh, well, it did kind of lock in. I think it was glued. Oh, yeah, look. There's a lot of glue there. Sometimes on these old action figures, people will kind of glue them. So very cool. But anyway, that's what that looks like. Again, one big foot. This is McFarlane Toys from 1995. So very cool. I want to say this is probably Spawn. If you know for sure, let me know. I do have a whole other video on Star Wars toys. If you're into Star Wars action figures, I have some really old ones that you can check out. 
This one's cool. This one has like a loose arm, which is a little bit bad. Sometimes these older figures tend to, some of the joints get really loose and you can see this is like super loose, but this had like a crazy punching fist. Look at this. It's gonna punch, I think. Well, let's see if we can lock it in. Oh no, it doesn't wanna lock. Um, there's a little button right here on his shoulder. So actually, if this was functioning properly, you could push this, push this in and then push the button here and that would release the fist, just like that. So pretty cool, like the bionic, bionic, <laughs> bionic little detailing there. So really cool, lots of little bumps on his arm, cool horns, nice little shaved, like little like rid ridges and stuff on the horn, so very cool. So little detail touches that make this figure special, but very cool of all the arms. I wish the arms weren't so loose. Okay, next up we have two of these bad boys. And these are like, I, I wanna say this is like a spawn bad guy. So very cool, very rubbery. These have like wires in the arms so you can actually bend these. This could be like friends that could like hang out together and go partying and stuff. Um, we got mouths that open up really big. Very creepy. Roar! <laughs> I like these figures, these are really fun. Okay, next up. We have another little figure here. I want to say this is some kind of, boy, what the heck is this? I'm not sure about this one. If you know, let me know. Lots of cool, like almost like little mechanical implants on the arm. Very cool. It's that whole robotic arm thing. I think in Dune, or what was it? Deadpool 2, they talked about like, enough with the mechanical arms. Um, that seems like that was a real big thing for villains and like kind of bad guys for a while. Had the whole mechanical arm thing going. Cool figure though. Love the detail, love the colors. Real nice. Okay, next up we have a big, big monkey here. And I want to say I have a bigger version of this somewhere. And this kind of reminds me of Overwatch. Um, just a little bit. Check out, it has kind of a big monkey leg there. And this side here is kind of protected, but it has like a mechanical thing underneath it. So this is like a robotic leg that's been replaced. So very cool. Like one regular leg, one mechanical robotical leg. It has a big cannon thing here, which I think is supposed to shoot. Uh, but again, this is old toy, so some of the accessories are missing. The arm is a little bit loose, but very cool, very good monkey image. And again, I think there is a much bigger version of this. If you go through my previous videos, I think I showed it in one of my previous, I think it was like a Your Toy Box or something. Very cool though. Winston is the name of the Overwatch character, so if you're big, into big monkeys, you may want to check it out. Oh boy, look at this guy. Oh my gosh. The thing that strikes me cool about this one is a tube. This tube here has like little bits of dried blood or something. I don't know if there's supposed to be a fluid in there or if it was just kind of put in for a fact. This one's pretty clear, but this one honestly looks like dried blood or something in the tube. So very, very gory. Um, we have a pump here, which maybe back in the day this would pump a fluid through the tube and it leaked or something. I'm not sure, um, but there definitely is a pump here for something. Um, the arms are a little bit loose. Looks like he's missing a horn too. I think that broke off at some point, but he's supposed to have two horns like that. Big, big feet. This is uh, Todd McFarlane, and this is 1996, made in China. Uh, 1996 McFarlane toys, but real cool. Okay, next up, another one of these. Is this the second one of these? I think it is. Somehow, sometimes I get a couple of duplicates here. Yeah, I got two of those bad boys, so I'm not quite sure how that happened, but anyway, same thing again. This one's a little better condition. The little um, belt is a little cleaner. This one's a little yellowed. I think you can remove that yellow with some like some kind of like um, bleach or something. If you know how to do that, let me know. I know there's videos on YouTube for like removing yellow from old classic game consoles. I'm sure it's very similar. Here's a little teenier figure, very cool. Kind of a kind of an executioner masked character with a big old spike there. I like the belt, really cool. Real nice small scope figure, smaller scale figure. The head turns, the arms move. Really cool. Oh boy, look at this bad boy. Oh my gosh, this is something and a half. Now this is a creepy toy. This has got to be McFarlane. Um, yeah, 1990, 1999 McFarlane toys. And this is quite the monster, man. All sorts of crazy tubes, different colors, red, green, blue on his head. He has all these little clear translucent, um, kind of yellowed. I think they're supposed to be like that just to show age. He's missing an eyeball. The mouth opens up. Arr! Very cool, and we have like this uh, bullets here on a chain, very cool, uh, kind of going through. So really, yeah, it's kind of an awesome effect to it. Um, I think there was supposed to be something else there with a the spring. You can see that, I think this broke off at some point, but really cool figure, um, really awesome. This like is supposed to go into here, 
sometimes with these old figures, you almost have to glue them or something because some of the, the old glue joints kind of pop off in time. But really neat figure, very detailed. Love all the crazy things hanging from it. Very awesome, look at that. That is nice. Okay, next up we have, um, oh, a Kiss figure. Very cool. There was a whole series of these. This is McFarlane Toys as well. This was, uh, let's see here, what year was this? 1997 McFarlane Toys. And he was contracted to make all the Kiss figures. And this one, I don't know, Kiss real well. Is this Ace Freely, I think? I believe this is Ace Freely. The hair's a little kind of, little kind of weird. Um, big old boots. Look at those crazy, crazy boots. Really big. Um, very cool figure. Uh, looks like his hands are meant to hold his guitar. And just really good looking guy. So very, very cool. Nice action figure into Kiss. I'm not super into Kiss, but I do like action figures. So pretty cool. Nice little collection. I don't think I have the full set. So I'll have to try and get the other McFarlane Kiss figures at some point. Okay, next up. Oops, got away from me there. Another little Spawn guy. I think this is similar to one we had before. Uh, boy, let's see here. This is very similar to the, the girl Spawn figure. But this is Spawn. Um, this one, again, the legs, this one's kind of in bad condition. The legs are very, very loose. You see, it doesn't want to stand very well, but cool figure. Looks like he had a, a fist here for some kind of accessory and real nice. I just wish the, the arms won't even stay up. They're very, very, very loose from age. The knees do bend, which is cool, but nice looking fawn, Spawn guy. I believe they're making a new Spawn movie. Um, this right here, I want to say this is, oh boy, was this like Magic the Gathering? This is McFarlane. And this is 2001 Electronic Arts. So this definitely goes along with a video game. Let me know if you're sure about this one. I'm, I'm not positive myself. I want to say maybe this had to do with a video game like, oh boy, like, like Dragon Age or EverQuest or something. I mean, Dragon Age, probably the year is wrong. But anyway, very cool. Love the shoulder piece. Love her expression. Kind of nice chain mail there. Cool little boots. The hair is real nice. Got the ear kind of popping through there. Hopefully the camera will focus. Ear popping through. You're popping through. There we go. Um, but anyway, you get the idea. Um, cool outfit though. The belt's very loose, which I like, and has like a little accessory here too. So, real nice figure. It could be Mag Magic the Gathering too. That's very possible. Okay, here we go. Another Spawn figure. This one has these crazy wings. This is very much like the other Spawn figures. Um, one side of his head is all like burned off, and then one side is kind of like normal. And then he has these crazy wings. I think the wing idea is really cool, although I kind of feels like I kind of feel like these are a little cheap in quality. It's just like this is like normal action figure, real nice. But the wings are just kind of like one colored plastic. There is some texturing on the plastic here, but in general, kind of kind of cheap. Um, but it's cool he has wings. I will give him that. I wish I could do the whole wing action for you. They don't really want to um, open nicely. And it looks like this is removable too if you wanted to. So, very cool. Wing to spawn. Okay, next up we have a monster. Look at that crazy thing. Now this one I like, it has this little translucent spot where it kind of almost looks like some kind of weird, weird like baby or something kind of showing through, maybe what, something it ate. Um, really big tail. This has a piece of wire in it so you can bend that. So really cool. Big mouth, look at all those crazy teeth and that green tongue. And there's a little bit of translucent plastic here you can kind of see through. So really cool, very haunting, creepy, creepy action for your both sides to have the, the translucent plastic you can see through. So really nice, great detailed figure. Arr! Okay, next up we have a girl here and this might be Magic the Gathering. Uh, I'm not sure this is again, uh, what is this one here? Does it say? Um, no, I can't read it. So, pretty cool. Looks like some kind of space witch or something. Has a cool little thing here on the back, hair in the ponytail. Good expression. Um, all the joints are like nice and tight. The, le the knees don't bend, but there is some articulation here at the waist and at the leg. So she could do some kicks or something. hi -ya! So very cool. Okay, next up, we have another girl here. This is very, looks like a villain, I'm guessing. Very pink. <laughs> has a big kind of some kind of weird weapon or something it looks like maybe one is missing from this it could have been some kind of wing or something uh, weird little skirt kind of looks like seaweed or something and very pink looks like she's missing part of something on here that broke off in time like the pink mask and everything this is rubbery very cool figure looks like this one here is oh boy McFarlane toys um I don't see a year though but there you go very cool Oh boy, look at this one. Ooh, I don't know if I can get this out. I'm gonna come back to that one. 
here is a spawn with a cape. Now this is very similar. I think we've seen this figure a couple times now uh, with the cape missing. So it's cool. This one actually has the cool cape. Very shiny, kind of silky, kind of black on one side, red on the other. It has that whole red, white, and blue thing going on. I think this is the third one of these I have, uh, but the only one that has the cape intact. So very cool. I like the cape. That's a nice little touch. Oops. <laughs> All right, next up, we have this is like a fully burned head monster. I don't know if this is supposed to be spawn by the belt. It could be, I guess. Um, on the back here, we do have an accessory. Looks like kind of a backpack, which probably had some kind of sword or something, which is missing now. This does click in place, so you can kind of lock the backpack. You can kind of lock it just like that. There you go. Um, lots of spikes. Cool burned head. Looks like he's missing a few teeth there, too. But very, very cool looking figure. Okay, next up, we have a girl here with some kind of weird purple tube going out of the back, it looks like. It looks like maybe there was some kind of attachment that was supposed to go there. Um, and she has a kind of a cool chainmail thing going on. And like little, looks like almost like Shredder from Turtles or something. Like a little blade on the side of the arms and the bracers. Very cool. Next up, ooh, look at this skeleton. This thing is really creepy. I uh, like it's like weird, like uh, loincloth or whatever. Got to cover its stuff, you know? Um, very creepy skeleton. Like the face is definitely falling apart. All sorts of crazy, weird spikes and like little like bone armor here. Really nice, very creepy looking. Big boots to keep him standing, which is good. Um, this is a McFarlane toy from 1997. But I'm definitely digging him. That is a creepy, creepy figure. Look at his face. Oh my gosh. I would not want to meet up with this guy in a dark alley. I like the little tube action there too. Really cool. Big, big spikes. Kind of looks like World of Warcraft a little bit. Very nice. All right, here we go with another another monkey. Oops, I'm losing pieces. This is what was holding it in before. And this one actually has a kind of a middle part here that is supposed to be like the monkey's chest. Oh, I have it the wrong way. Kind of goes like this and i want to say there is something like you could put inside i want to say this is kind of like turtles uh, again he has like the one mechanical leg this is the same guy from before but just kind of a, a different scale big hook arm thing love the real chain love the actual colored strings very cool like the little ropes very nice and this opens up and i think this must be like an alien inside of him here like controlling him so very interesting. Um, again, I think I have a much bigger version of this somewhere. Um, if you look back at my previous videos, uh, somewhere I think I have a huge like 12 inch version of this with the same kind of open chest thing. Very, very cool. All right, here's this guy I couldn't get out before. And this is some kind of demon. The wings are kind of cool. They both, they kind of go together, which is really nice. Love the colors to it. Uh, the legs are a little bit loose here. The joints, looks like he's, he's got bare feet. I don't think this will stand very well. This does feel kind of loose, but I love the little arms. Love the horns. Look at those bright red eyes. That's really creepy. Very cool figure. Sometimes if you're into action figure collecting on an eBay, you can find like a whole lot of them. Now, I didn't buy these on eBay at all, um, but if you're looking to like increase your collection, sometimes you can luck out or maybe yard sales even could be a good way of catch collecting figures. Okay, look at this crazy pirate guy. Looks like he kind of reminds me of like One Piece or something. He has some kind of weird yellow vest here, almost like some kind of weird pirate pattern or something. Uh, um, very interesting. He has like one leg. It looks like this. This pushes in like this, like this bone. Oh, oh my gosh, the bone fell out. That's not good. Okay, so the leg goes in like this. Maybe it's meant to shoot. There's a little button right here you can see. A little yellow button. And this kind of pops in like that. And then you can actually like shoot his leg. Oh, it doesn't want to shoot. All right, well, you get the idea. You press the button, and it releases the leg for you. But very cool. Kind of a cool space pirate kind of thing. Really nice looking figure. I don't think it would stand because of this crazy knife leg. Uh, but this leg is a little bigger, so this will hold, hold it, I guess. This is 1997 McFarlane Toys, too. So you tell 1997 was a pretty good year for McFarlane making toys. Okay, next up we have this weird scientist guy. Look at this crazy, crazy, like, tail on his jacket. Very wrinkly, very rubbery. 
very cool actually um, all sorts of weird bugs and stuff I guess those are bugs and like a little hole the, the maggots are coming out of that's pretty darn gross uh, lots of bugs on him here too oh my god this and spiders on his arm obviously this is some kind of crazy insect villain or something his hair is what gets me though it's absolutely crazy super buggy eye there I don't know if the camera's catching this good big face like big mouth kind of weird expression big nails on him this guy is definitely very, very creepy. But I love the details. I love all the little spiders on his shoulder and all the weird little bugs on his, like the bottom of his jacket. They didn't have to do bugs here on the back of his jacket, but they did. And that's like one of the little detail touches that McFarland does is he really goes to all sorts of extremes. And look at all the bugs trying to come out of the hole there, the hole in his pants. Hopefully the camera's catching that hole in the pants. And there's all sorts of bugs on him, so very creepy. I'm getting the heebie-jeebies of touching this thing. <laughs> all right, next up, we have a little teeny spawn here. Not too much to report here, but cute little spawn. Little guy, little articulation. Looks cool. Very nice. Good smaller scale. Kind of like the Star Wars figure size scale of spawn figures. Okay. Here's this guy, this creepy grayed haired like little bad guy has a cool little necklace amulet uh, one big leg this is a McFarlane toy uh, this is from let's see here uh, looks like McFarlane 1996 so a very creepy skeleton like the way the knees are kind of open exposing the skin very bony looking and I love the hair the hair is a really nice touch although haired figures do get kind of frayed in time is about the only thing bad it uh, looks like his belt would hold some kind of Oops, oh my gosh, I just broke it. Oh my gosh. Sorry guys, I, I should be more delicate with these. Um, looks like this would hold something. I'll try and glue that back. But anyway, very cool figure. Very nice. Okay, next up we have another girl one here. And I think we've looked at this one before maybe, or a different version of her just a little bit ago. Again, has kind of a cool seaweed thing here on the back. This is the front part that was missing from the other one cool little horns like um, I want to say I got this from your toy box and your toy box I was doing a lot of videos for them back about a year ago and um, you can check out usually they'd send like an action figure or two so really cool that's a good source for getting like older action figures some of these subscription services will actually send you toys like this which is really cool okay next up uh, we have some kind of I'm not sure about this one I, I remember this from the video um, was this supposed to be like oh boy I'm not sure who this is let me see here, McFarlane, uh, it looks like 1999, so I want to say this might be like a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde or something, I, if you know what this is from, please let me know, maybe it was from like, um, boy, what the heck was that, oh boy, um, Headless Horseman or something, I'm not sure, if you know, please let me know, I'm not sure about this one. Okay, this one here is really cool, this is like, I want to say this might have been, it kind of reminds me of like the guy from X-Files, like, like turns gelatinous and the alien comes out of its belly. I think this is like the X-Files like gelatinous man that, that the alien bursts out of its stomach. You can see kind of like the alien growing here in its stomach. Um, this really can't stand. It's all this rubbery because I think he's meant to actually be on like, um, see there's like little holes here. I think this is meant to be sitting on something. Um, this is 1999 Fox. Yeah, so this this is X-Files. Um, this is McFarlane toy and really cool. One of the more cool like gelatinous men figures ever. Um, with an alien kind of inside of him. So, very nice. He goes on like a little gurney. So, very cool. All right, let's see what else we got. We have a little lady here with uh, huge, huge wings. Lots of all sorts of articulation, bending wings. They're a little bit loose in time, but you kind of see this is a really big, really cool figure. Got like a little weird loincloth thing going on there. Horns. Uh, this is the same lady as we had before. We've seen a few of these. Uh, but this is definitely a different scale with the wings in the back. And this time a red skirt. So very cool. Here's a pretty average looking spawn. I think we've seen a few of these in the box. Uh, this one just not too much to report. Has a hole for the hand. Very cool. It's kind of a traditional looking spawn. Okay. Next up we have a green monster here. And this, uh, what is this one? 1994. This is not a McFarlane toy. I'm not quite sure. We do have the big crowbar here, which is a pretty nice crowbar. This feels very plasticky. Okay, this is like um, very not not like an open cell plastic, but kind of like a closed cell plastic, like a mouse or something. Um, this whole thing is very hard. So this is definitely a different series, but very cool. Like the horns, like the shininess, love the purple, love the big big crowbar. Look at that thing. Brrr. Okay, next up, 
we have another female spawn. This time with, oh, okay, so this is what goes over the chest is two skulls. I think the other one was missing those, actually. So those, um, they're not really removable, but I think sometimes like things fall off, you know? Nice hair. The hair looks a little bit thinner on this one. Looks like maybe there's some glue that glued on some hair that kind of fell off. Uh, so maybe she needs some Rogaine or something. But anyway, very cool. At least we can see what the chest is supposed to look like. Okay, next up, we have another one of these guys. I think this is the second one of these. Very cool looking like little pirate guy, kind of a skeleton, lots of crazy gray hair. He's got his little amulet again, different colored amulet, I think. Um, has hands which are opened. I'm not gonna break the belt, but you can see there's something which is supposed to go onto the belt there. Um, but very cool, very angry skeleton guy. Arr! Arr! Okay, uh, next up. We have another female warrior here. Looks like she has a cool little blade there. Looks like this is supposed to have a sword or something in it, but it doesn't. Love the hair, love the little piece up here. Um, this one doesn't say McFarlane toys. I almost feel like this is some other series. Like if you know what this is, please let me know. I'm kind of getting like, uh, oh boy, like some kind of Saturday morning cartoon vibe off it. Now like maybe not He-Man, but something along those lines maybe, I'm not sure. Um, if you know, please let me know. Looks like this is a McFarlane toy from 1995. So very cool. It's interesting that it says McFarlane on her back. Usually it's on the foot. So very cool. And next up we have another... Oh, this is one of the cooler figures. Like this has really cool glasses. So check out this girl's glasses. They're, they're like cool, like little, almost like high-tech glasses. She looks like some kind of cyber criminal or something. Uh, she has like a little backpack. The hair is almost kind of anime-ish. Kind of blowing in the wind very very cool no accessories very long legs um if you know what this is from please let me know um but i do like this figure We've got some like lace up going there um really nice mcfarland toy this is 1997 oh no this is yeah this wait no let's check this 2001 mcfarland toy um looks like pioneer entertainment 1997 whatever that is from but uh one of the cooler female figures i have actually um so very very neat Okay, next up we have, let's see, a couple small ones left here. Another girl villain, it looks like, with big black cape here, hair kind of tied up. Um, it looks like that's supposed to be like that. Oh, I almost want to feel like that's tape or something. I like the cloth, I always love cloth capes. Kind of a good little side of quality. Really nice job on this one. I like the glossy boots. Everything looks really cool. Looks like some kind of crazy Disney witch or something. Although I know it's not Disney. Okay, next up, we got just a couple more left here, guys. We have, oh, here's Scully. So this Scully kind of goes along with the Mulder a little bit. So we have this set. Here's Mulder and Scully, old schooly Mulder and Scully. So very cool. Got the set. Um, no accessories with them. Their hands are kind of open, but they can go and hunt out some X-Files. I'm a big X-Files fan, so I did do a review of a more recent Scully figure, which actually I thought didn't look quite right. Although looking at this one, her eyes look a little weird. I don't know. Something, the hair looks good, but the eyes don't look quite right. Um, he looks a little bit more like Mulder. I'm not sure about the Scully, but it's kind of cool to have both of them. They can go dancing like, la, 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 la. okay. Um, <laughs> they need to find an alien, so we'll throw them over here. Okay, let's see, a couple more left here, guys. Um, another one of those mad scientists we talked about earlier with all the blood. I'm definitely a fan of this guy. Um, looks like I got two of them. This one's a little more silver. This one's a little more copper. I think it's the same one. I think this is just kind of a little bit more worn out, but very cool figure. Still like this guy. Probably could use a bigger version of him. Okay, here we have, um, this is just, I don't know why this is in the box, but I'll show it. Uh, Spawn car, very cool, like a comic. Um, this is something you might be able to find it like a yard sale or something if you're really into Spawn. Don't know why it's in the box, but anyway, cool. Um, here is a Terminator figure. Um, this is from Terminator Salvation. Um, looks like it's mitten package. Looks like there's a few ones you can collect. And this is Marcus, the humanoid Terminator hybrid kind of thing and this has like this cool little like water alien like this weird uh, thing that like kind of a kind of like a terminator eel that was in the movie which is very cool that's battle damage marcus so very cool mint in package and let's see i think we're almost done here guys and here is very cool looking like almost like a wolverine guy look at all these crazy like little spikes on his hand very cool um Good little face, kind of looks like an old school X-Men. Looks like there was some kind of accessory or something that should have been there that's missing now, but cool figure. Um, this here is a McFarlane toy from 1998. So very cool. 
And there you have it, guys. It's the bottom of the box. Um, what one was your favorite? Did you have a favorite in the bunch? Um, I think this big, crazy <laughs> ape here is my favorite. And again, somewhere I have a video of a bigger version of this. So if you check back, um, somewhere I'm sure I have it. Um, but I love the way the chest opens and goes like that. Um, again, you can pick up some of these on eBay, perhaps. Um, even like your garage sales, yard sales, that kind of thing. Um, oftentimes, like parents might be like throwing away or selling off like a box of figures really cheap. Although all of these I did collect individually, uh, one by one, oftentimes in subscription services or yard sales or like um, buying myself, just, you know, new. So anyway, guys, um, there you go. Uh, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Of course, um, you can say enter me or enter me senpai for your name in the hat for my next giveaway, which is going to be, I'll be doing a drawing um, right around Halloween. Um, the ending date for the next giveaway is August, I'm sorry, October 31st. All right, friends. Well, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you're into this, please, please subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, click that bell to get notifications of new videos and uh, give it a thumbs up if you're into action figures. And again, let me know if you're into collecting action figures and if you are, what action figures you collect, okay? All right, friends. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.